To install the plugin, drag and drop the RHI file to Rhino window. Press Continue. Press Close. Now in command prompt type edit python script. The Rhino will show a window and you can immediately close it. Now uh, the plugin is ready for work. To check if it, if it is installed properly, uh, start typing as pair. Then you can see that new command spec is auto-completed. If you select it, Rhino will ask you to select poly surfaces from your model. Now I have my testing model, which is a rather basic cabinet. This cabinet is made from extrusions and poly surfaces. Uh, keep in mind that every detail should be uh, drawn as separate entity. Now to use plugin, uh, select all your entities and type spec. Uh, now I'm alerted that all my extrusions will be turned into poly surfaces. Uh, this can break the record history if you use it, so that's because uh, you are alerted about this. Uh, I press OK and you can see that all extrusions are turned to um, poly surfaces. And this is the specification window. Uh, what, it, uh, what is all of this about is the plugin uh, gets dimensions of every detail, of every element and it counts uh, the quantity of each uh, element, of all elements with equal dimensions. Uh, so I can see that I have, for example, two, two sides and three shelves and so on. The interface is very basic, uh, two buttons, export and out number. Uh, you can press out the number and uh, you can see that uh, all, all your details are numbered now. And of course you can uh, number them manually if you want, if you want to change these numbers. Uh, then you can type name for each position. I'll type side and uh, I'll type here horizontals and I'll type here shelf and so on. You can go through uh, go through your specification and while you are doing this, uh, every time you select uh, the row here, uh, the uh, entities are highlighted and you can turn it around and always see what is what detail is this uh, next uh, what you can do with this plugin is uh, to uh, to give information about edging uh, I usually uh, use two types of edging uh, uh, edging with uh, thin uh, edge uh, 0 0.5 millimeters melamine edging and uh, normal some kind of normal edging like two millimeters edging uh, and so you just uh, you just type here uh, 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 one if you want to get uh, to have an edge on this side every time you uh, select this uh, these cells, uh, the edges, corresponding edges are highlighted in the model. 
uh, so for example for for these details I want them uh, to to be one edge this one edge that we actually see to be two millimeters wage edge so I put one here and uh, some backside edge I want to be 0 0.4 millimeters and so I put one here so one edge one length edge is here and the other length edge is here and uh, I do not actually need uh, edges here because uh, they are they are hidden with other elements and I can immediately see this if I select corresponding cells uh, so and I go through all of this uh, all of these stages for uh, for every element and when I'm done with this uh, I can export data but if I uh, for example close this window all the information uh, that I uh, I have just stop is uh, is saved in attribute in user attributes and so if I get maybe some changes in the model and I uh, run the plugin again uh, every piece of information is actually saved so now I want to export data I press export uh, I name this file let it be test and it will be CSV file uh, export done and I can see the file appears here and um, it is a comma separated file so I have commas uh, between every piece of information and uh, it's better to to import this to Excel so I select data data ribbon and uh, here I have button get data from text I select this CSV file and Excel uh, starts uh, import dialog uh, I press next and uh, here I need to select the delimiter, the delimiter the delimiter should be comma so you can see when you press this button uh, columns columns appear here next and finish and here are some additional properties and I usually select this override existing cells and I turn off safe query definition so this data will not be connected to this text file after it is inserted and I press OK and so what I see all my data is uh, imported to the Excel and actually I have um, rather good table to maybe send it to the manufacturer uh, to make cutting and edging thank you for your attention good luck